Hey Todd, this is Paul Heck with Grassfire. In this video, I'm going to show you three things that you can do today to bring you guys some more business coming your way. Uh, most likely you're sitting there asking yourself, you know, why is this guy sending me a video and, and what's it all about and what's in it for him? Oftentimes what we find is local business owners, they just don't have the time to try to figure out like how to, how to make your web, their website work better for them. Um, and then the other thing is sometimes they just don't know who to hire. You know, they don't know who the experts are. They don't know who might, you know, might not be an expert. And what we found is just putting out a quick video to a business owner like you to just show them a, a free attack plan for what do you need to do to your website to one, educate yourself to allow you to, to be able to do it yourself if you want to. But what we're finding is most business owners are like, hey, that looks good. I know I need to do it. But I just don't have the time to devote to that. And, you know, they're, they're like, hey, Paul, can you can you help us do that? And for sure, that's what we can do. So by the end of this video, if you like what you see, um, definitely hit me back um, either via email or send me, um, you know, just a phone call. And I'd love to chat with you. The other thing is, is if, if you don't want to do that, if you, if you want to take this on yourself, um, it's definitely something you can do. I'm, I'm cool with that as well. So let's dive in real quick just to uh, give you some more info on, you know, what it takes to get your website ranked higher in Google search. So I pulled up moving company Fayetteville, Arkansas up in the Google search bar. And as you can see, little guys, movers, Razorback, all my brother's movers are pulling up in the map pack section here. And you also see little guys um, and Razorback and two fellas Fayetteville are the first three companies that pull up in the organic section down here. And I'm going to show you why that is happening. So if you look at um, your website, you know, I just I just did a, a quick, you know, select all and I pasted it over here in this word counter. You guys have 403 words on your page. Um, Google likes to see 1500 words minimum on your website, on your home page um, to recognize you guys as an authority and to start pushing you guys up higher in the ranking. So that's the first thing that I'm going to do on, on your website is I'm going to update your content. Let me back up one second. First thing I'm going to do is actually, you guys don't even have a secure website right now, and I'm going to get your get your website secure. That just makes customers feel like anything that they put, they can submit to you guys online. They feel safer. Um, you know, the potential for a, the, your website getting hacked, or the potential for, uh, you know, someone taking their information on the back end is just a whole lot less. And so that's the first thing I'm going to do: get you guys safe there. The second thing I'm going to do is the, is the content. I'm going to optimize all of these photos so that this, you know, this photo doesn't have, you know, a bunch of just numbers up here as far as the name of it. I'm going to actually um, take those photos and name those um, something like Moving Company Fayetteville, Arkansas uh, Family or something like that, just to designate the, the photo as a key phrase and a key search term um, for you. Regarding those key search terms, so Google likes to take, you know, the search that's going on, like this actual term right here. And they want this to be on your page in multiple locations and multiple ways in the midst of all of that 1500 words of content that just gives you enough room to add enough of those keywords and phrases so that you guys are getting found when Google crawls your site and just starts extracting all that info. Looking at your competitors websites, as you can see, little guys movers, it's just a lot slicker website. It's uh, it just looks more current, more up to date. Um, they do too also need to update their website. They don't have enough content. So that's definitely an area that you can beat them and start trying to push up past them. And Razorback looks like they've uh, actually done a little bit of um, updating on theirs. They've got quite a bit of content, as you can see here. Um, still, I think they could do a, a little bit better. You know, you guys can start to rank up against them so that you guys are at least competing with them, um, if not overtaking them in the future. If you look a little further into this program called Ahrefs that I use, um, so I put your company's URL up in here, and this is showing me what data is that Google and, and other search engines are pulling from. Um, right now, you're being found for two organic keywords, and you're not even registering on all of this backlinking and, and traffic and all that stuff. So your website's in some pretty serious trouble as, as far as uh, it's just not doing anything for you um, from a, a, an online presence. Little Guys Movers, as you can see, they've been found for 145 keywords. They've got 19 referring domains, and there's 2,000 backlinks referring to those 19 domains. So what this tells me is that they've done a little bit of work to try to get um, a lot of backlinks to them, but they're just not coming from um, very many places. And that tells me that it is a company that, although they're doing some things right on their website, there's a lot of room to, uh, to improve this. And so what that means for you is that you can actually do things to your site to start to beat them on this backlinking. Now, Razorback is a, is a little bit different story. They've got 311 organic keywords are being found for. And I'll open this up and show you 
just what some of those are, just so you can see that. Moving companies, Fayetteville, Arkansas, movers, Fayetteville, Arkansas, moving. So you can see all of these things that are, are targeted for Fayetteville, Arkansas, and moving services, moving company. And you can see the volume of how much that gets searched and what position they're in for that. So they've done some really good stuff on their website to get in that number one position on all of these. And they're in the number four position here, one, two. You can see they're doing really well. Now, what this means to you is volume. So moving companies, Fayetteville, Arkansas, somebody searches that 150 times a month. So say you got 10% uh, of that. Say you got 15 new customers a month just off of optimizing your website and being pulled up into these, you know, one, two, three, four position. Um, I don't know what you make off of a move. Uh, maybe it's, you know, 2,000 um, bucks a profit on that. I'm not sure. Maybe it's 1,000 bucks a profit times 15. That's, you know, 15 to $30,000 of, of extra profit a month just coming in off of your website. So that's how this starts to translate into actual real dollars for you. If you look back over here, I'm going to switch back their view. If you look back over at uh, the second thing that Google's looking for, so there's this map pack here, and you guys um, are probably ranked somewhere on this map pack, you know, way down in the list here. And I'm not seeing you guys right offhand, but as you can see, you want to be listed at the top because when you're listed at the top, that just gives you uh, your customers more confidence in you and um, drives more traffic your way. So you match this with what's going on down here in the bottom. And you know, if you're found here and you're found in the top two or three positions down here, that's going to get your, your phone ringing a whole lot, a whole lot more. Now that number two thing that uh, gets that map pack going is citations. And as you can see, I just pulled up a citations comparison just so you can see it. So those moving companies are all going to have a listing just like these roofing companies here. And they're all going to have a number here designating how many different directories that they're listed on. So this is Yelp, Manta, Better Business Bureau, yellowpages.com, superpages.com. You can go out and actually get your business, your name, address, and phone number. Your, that's your, your NAP listed on all of these directories. And, you know, this company has 56 of those. This company has 26 of those. And you're probably in the middle of an, a, an average of, of, of the same number for your guys. That's what we're seeing a lot. We very rarely see a company that's hitting this real hard. But what we like to do is take what number that your, your nearest competitors are, say they have 50, and then we want to go out and, and we can drill down in this and we can see exactly which ones you have and exactly which ones they have. And then we want to go after that and we want to match what they have and then we want to surpass them. Uh, I like to dominate my, when, I, when I think about business and, and I want to surpass them by 100. That way you, you guys are always in the lead and they are always playing catch up. So that's how that works on the citation side. It's just, it's, it's not hard to do. It's just sort of monotonous. If you imagine there's thousands of directories out there on the internet and going out and plugging your business name, phone number, and address exactly the same across all of those and getting your Google My Business set up with Google so that they know that you guys are a legitimate business with an actual uh, physical location. Um, when you do that over and over and over, it, it's not hard to do, but it just takes a lot of time. And we want to just over time build that up so that you guys are, are ranking really high. The third thing that Google looks at is uh, this backlinking. If you think it's kind of like a, a giant popularity contest on the internet, the internet is a spaghetti web of all of these uh, web pages that are linked together. And you got website A linking to website B. And sometimes that, that link is a really important link in Google's eyes, and sometimes it's just a so so important link. Just that the fact that there's a link there is important to Google and it helps you a little bit. But what we call that is link juice. And the more link juice that you can get, the better. I'll show you a little bit of what that looks like. So if I drill down into these de referring domains from Razorback Moving, you can see that this, comp this moversfavorarkansas.com website has a lot more juice off of this do follow than, you know, say some of these other ones, linkcenter.com. And this only has three. So what we want to do is actually go out, find out what your competition's doing, get the same links that they have, and then put those on your site as well and um, get you guys to be pushed up in that list. Now, if you think of, um, you know, what am I talking about with, with the, the, so if you think of, of, of the strength of those links, if you think of a Pizza Hut linking website, linking to your website, you know, that might could happen. There's, there's nothing to say that, that couldn't happen, but you guys aren't slinging pizzas for a living. You guys are actually helping people move. And so, what we want to do is find um, a lot of times what we find is moving companies or moving 
um, information on the internet, um, moving trade magazines, things like that, that actually, uh, that where you can create a blog post and link back to your website, that's going to give you a lot more strength in Google's eyes than say that pizza company uh, and, um, and just help Google push you guys up again more as the authority in your area. So just to recap real quick, we talked about the three things that, that you need to do. Um, content, 1,500 words on your website minimum, and, and keyword rich content. So it's specific to where you guys are trying to capture business from. Citations, we, we recommend you know trying to target like 200 citations just to get you ranked up 100, 150 above your competition. Those are all those directories that you're listed on. And then the link juice, that's going out and building and, and, and getting those links to your website from specific uh, targeted um, industry specific websites so that you guys are getting the most juice off of those that you can. You might be wondering now, Paul, what do I need to do? Like, how do I do this? And, and like I said, you can take this information and do all this yourself. It does just take a lot of time. But uh, what we find is the most economical and, and time-saving thing for you is let you go do your business. You guys keep moving people. You keep chasing business the way you are. Let us build this on the backside and help you guys get your business built more so that you're getting traffic coming in off of your website that we can actually track and you can see what your return on your investment is. Um, I'd love to hear your feedback on, on my web presentation here. And then you can reach me at 479-326-789. I'd love to talk to you more about your business, how you guys are trying to grow, and see if we can help you guys out. Thank you.